Remember when you were a kid and you would watch like spy movies and the spies in the spy movies would have fancy futuristic glasses where when they put them on, they suddenly have like this augmented reality digital display in their real world? Well, I have them. And so I've actually partnered with Xreal to show you their brand new glasses, the Air 2 and the Air 2 Pro. Now these aren't gonna be used for like actual spy work or anything, but they do implement a similar augmented reality concept that we all would have loved to have had growing up. Now, some of you may be familiar with the previous generation of this product, which was actually originally released under the brand name Enreal. And they quickly became the best selling AR glasses brand, selling over 200,000 units. And now they've rebranded to the name Xreal, standing for extra real. So now these are the Xreal Air 2. Pro. And if you aren't familiar with what these actually are, well, they're AR glasses. And essentially what that means is that you can put these on and then suddenly have a 300 plus inch display while also being able to see the world around you. And unfortunately it is one of those things that you really do have to experience for yourself to you know, really see what it's like. But I did go ahead and just take my phone and put the camera up to the lens of these glasses to kind of show you what the experience is like. I mean, again, it's not gonna show you the full experience of what it's actually like, but at least hopefully give you an idea. Now, the way that Xreal was actually able to achieve this is by using micro OLED displays from Sony. Now, of course, there's two displays, one for each eye, and they each go up to 1920 by 1080. They're also both 120 hertz and go up to 500 nits of brightness. And because these displays are so small, they're actually 0.55 inch displays. The pixel density is insane. So they actually have over 4,000 pixels per inch. Like a, a normal smartphone has usually like 400 to 500. PPI, this has 4,000. Now you might be wondering, like what can I actually use these with? And so when you unbox them, they come with a braided USB-C cable that actually plugs into the back left arm of the glasses. And then you can take the other end of the cable and plug it into any USB type C device that supports display out over type C. And so the simplest way to experience these is just with your phone. So you can just plug your phone directly into these glasses and it'll mirror the display from your phone to the glasses. And because they also have built-in speakers, you can then go ahead and just watch a YouTube video, watch a movie, scroll social media. There's even a dedicated app for these glasses by Xreal that actually creates a whole augmented reality like interface that you can open apps with. You can even open multiple windows with it if you wanna do multiple things at a time. Say you wanna watch a YouTube video and then look over here and scroll Amazon or something. And if you have a compatible Samsung phone, you can actually also use these to run Samsung DeX. So instead of having to have a full computer, and a full-sized monitor, you can use your smartphone and a pair of glasses to have a desktop-like experience. Now you might be wondering like how in the world are they able to make these so much smaller than like a normal, you know, VR headset? Cause that VR headsets are, are pretty big compared to this. And that's one of the great things about this is they look kind of normal. It just looks like I'm wearing sunglasses. I mean, they do look a little thick if you look at the right angles, but compared to, you know, a giant VR headset, uh, the, these are these definitely look more normal. <laughs> and so the way that they were actually able to do this is because these glasses do not have a battery and they don't have like any sort of computer or like processing unit in them that's like operating some type of operating system. Instead, it actually draws power, both battery power and processing power from whatever device you have them plugged into. So for example, one of my favorite things to do with these glasses is play video games. So like I have my ROG Ally handheld Windows 11 gaming device, and I can just plug it directly into these glasses with the USB-C cable. And then I suddenly have a giant 120 Hertz OLED display right in front of my eyes. And the ROG Ally is of course powering the video game that is that the glasses are displaying, but it's also powering the glasses 
uh, with you know the battery power from the ROG Ally. And so now with this setup, I can play at any angle. I don't have to bend my neck down to look you know, down at the ROG Allies display, I can look wherever I want and the screen will be right in front of me no matter what. You can also use it with like a laptop. So I have my MacBook here, I can plug it directly in and suddenly I have a big screen right in front of my face that's mirroring my MacBook's display. And so I could sit here, start editing a video and again, not have to bend my neck down to look at my laptop screen but instead just look straight ahead and see the screen right in front of me. Now by default, unless you're using the smartphone app that I showed you earlier to use that special interface, the display will actually be locked right in front of you. And so wherever you move, the screen's moving with you, but there is actually an optional accessory that expands the display options of the glasses. So this is called the X-Real Beam and it actually unlocks three new display options. The first one is probably my favorite. This is what allows you to kind of place the screen in one spot so that if you move your head, the screen doesn't move with you. It's almost like it's placed in real life, kind of like, you know, a normal TV would be. Your TV doesn't follow your face with you. I, at least I hope it does. And then the second display option is actually similar to what you have by default, where, you know, it locks in with your face, but this one actually smooths out motion. It's actually kind of similar to like image stabilization with a camera. And this comes in handy, like say for example, you're uh, a passenger in a car and you have these glasses on and it's kind of bumpy. Well, you don't want the screen to be jittering all around. This will actually smooth it out. So, you know, it hopefully doesn't give you a headache. And then the last display option that the X-Real Beam unlocks is called Side View. It essentially brings down the size of your screen to about 20 inches and puts it in the corner so that you can focus more on what's actually happening in your life. And then you just kind of have your small window down in the corner so you can still, you know, kind of pay attention to it. Now, another thing that the Beam allows you to do is it actually enables you to to use these glasses with your Nintendo Switch. Because if you're familiar with the Nintendo Switch, you typically have to use the dock that comes with your Switch to be able to connect it to an external display, including these glasses. But the X-Real Beam actually acts as a Switch dock so that you can, you know, plug these glasses into the X-Real Beam and then plug the X-Real Beam into your Nintendo Switch and then it allows it to work. And so now I can have a 300 inch Mario Kart AR display right on my face. <laughs> now at this point, you might be wondering like, what's the difference between the X-Real Air 2 and the X-Real Air 2 Pro? And actually they're pretty much exactly the same device except for one pretty cool feature that only the Pro has. So the Pros actually have something called electrochromic dimming, which allows you to dim these sunglasses electronically. I don't know how it works scientifically, but you, you literally just hit a button and it dims the glasses. And so when you press the button, it goes from 0% to 35% dimmed. And then when you press it again, it goes from 35% to 100% dimmed, which effectively blocks out 99.9% .9 of light. Now, both the Air 2 and the Air 2 Pro do ship with these cover lenses. So even if you don't get the Pro, you can still block out light, which is nice. Now, as for pricing, the X-Real Air 2 is listed at $399, or if you want that electrochromic dimming, the Air 2 Pros are listed at $449. And the previous generation X-Real Air are actually also still available and they're now discounted down to $339. And also X-Real actually did just launch in the UK. So if uh, any of you are from the UK, congratulations, you can, you can get these. But anyways, I'm excited to see how advanced this technology gets because it's already cool, but I can just imagine how much potential this has of like, you know, five, 10 years from now, how good this could actually get. But yeah, anyways, huge thanks to Xreal for sponsoring today's video. And I will put links to these glasses in the description of this video. So feel free to go check them out. But yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one.